All right, we're doing a bench sew. This is a Singer 151W, and we're just sewing it on the workbench here. And I've got a, this is a, a denim, it's a blue jean denim. Here's the back of the stitch. There's the front. This machine, uh, solder machine. It's got the serial number right there. The serial number. Now, it's got, it uh, looks to be the bulk of the pieces. Someone has modified this a little bit. I don't know why they did this, but you can see there's a cutout right here. Um, if you don't want the cutout, these plates are readily available on eBay. Um, it's got its nicks and scratches. Like I said, it's an older machine. There's the back of it. This is being sold head only. You'll have to provide the table and everything else. It's just the head. Got a little. That's a vintage rope belt right there. A vintage rope belt. Now, one of the differences is that this machine threads from right to left, and a lot of industrial sewing machines thread from left to right. So, uh, if you can see, we got the thread going through the eye of the needle from right to left, and also the needle is backwards for most sewing machines. This is the kerf for the hook, and on this side, the long side is a long groove. The long groove goes 90 degrees to the body. So the groove is on this side and the kerf is on this side, thread left to right. This is the correct orientation for the uh, bobbin. And it's got a little case, a little flip up here. And it, whoop, fell right out. So there's your bobbin hole. And then the bobbin itself is a little different than most. Get it over here. You've got your spring, and then you've got your little hole for your thread. So I'll show you how to wind it in a second. All right, so to put your bobbin in here is a little different than most. You put your bobbin in, and you got a little tiny notch there. So you go up in that notch, you go over, you kind of work into that spring. So you're in that spring right there. Then you come back under and come up through that hole. So if you don't do it right, it's not going to sew. So you start off in this cut, go under the spring, go back under in this cut, and come up through that hole. And then you've got the proper threading for that bobbin. Here's the threading. Um, start out the top. You should have a top post. So you thread through the top post, come down. This is a pretty standard singer. Uh, you can do one wrap, two wrap, three wrap. You come down, you come on this side of this post, and you come under 
then back around and you got to hook it over this little hook right there that little hook so you're sitting right there you got to make sure you're inside of the uh, The, the let me get close up here. You gotta get inside in between these plates. You can't just have it laying on the outside of the plate. It has to get up in between those plates to get tension. And then we're coming. We've got this bobber. It's a black bobber. Let's see if we can get a better picture of it here. There we go. See this spring here? If you're missing that spring. It's not gonna sew with a hoot. Um, a lot of these older ones are missing the spring. Not hard to replace. They're, they're fairly inexpensive. And you've got a little plate here that has to be adjusted right <clears throat> so that that spring is basically 90 degrees out, you know, straight level out from the side of the of the tensioner. And it's just got a little bit of spring on it. It's got to be turned. Um, then we go up, through here, through the eyelet, back down, across the face of this, then we come down, and there's a little notch right here. Some of them will have different, let me get focus here. Some of them will have a different, but there's a little notch here that you can put your thread in, wrapped around the back of that notch. Some of them might have an eye, but you want to try and keep it in that because that helps the bounce. We come down, remember we come from right through the needle to the left. Now if you thread it from left to right, it just won't sew. And if the needle's in backwards, it just won't sew. Um, and that's how we thread it.